I was driving down uh, Interstate 5 and saw a house that I had noticed before. Actually, I kind of grew up noticing it. It's kind of run down. I've never seen anybody residing here. I went inside and I noticed that there was uh, all of the wiring had been ripped out. And uh, I do want to say that before I went inside, I asked permission to go inside. The uh, neighbor uh, on, on the right-hand side, there's nobody on the left. When you're standing outside looking at the front door, uh, you can tell that the roof has been pretty much destroyed. There's been a considerable amount of uh, damage done to the yard. Uh, just kind of looks ransacked. The neighbors on the right-hand side have a lot of stuff in their yard. A lot of RVs. Perhaps they work on them and get them working. Anyway, I stepped inside. There's a lot of trash on the floor, as you can see. There's, uh, it's a cute house, though. I like the floor plan, the design. Uh, this is the kitchen, or just outside of the kitchen area. Uh, right now you're seeing how the wires have been ripped out of the walls. Holes have been punched into the walls. There's trash all over the floor. Uh, there's a light fixture uh, that's missing, of course, and a lot of the rooms. Uh, I can picture this place clean, maybe a fresh coat of paint. Um, I'm not sure what that pegboard material is called that is on the ceiling. I don't know what this vent was. There's a vent in the wall. It goes straight through on the other side of it. It seems that it just has, uh, that the wall is just covered. I mean, maybe it was a vent to let air through. I don't think there was a fan there. This is the kitchen. This is where the stove would go. See, this is the other side of the wall. Where that hole was. Spice rack. There's the fan. To, there's no hood. That fan in the ceiling is the hood. You can tell by the way the ceiling looks here that it's obviously been hot, humid, perhaps uh, cooking had been done. Um, beer cans, boxes. place is pretty trashed. Looks like vagrants have been staying here. Um, I was asked towards the end of this video to leave the premises or the cops would be called. And I talked to the guy. Uh, got Jane's uh, phone number. She's the lady, one of the owners that owns the property. And I had, of course, requested that she maybe look into letting me rent the place. You know, obviously, I don't want to rent the house to, to live in it right this very instant. But uh, my intention would be to move my 22-foot travel trailer, RV, onto the property and get the utilities turned on so that I could run my air conditioner and my trailer and, and have power. Uh, and then fix this place up. This here is where a piece of stained glass used to go that would have still pr provided a little bit of dimension to the kitchen and also to the bedroom behind it. This little bureau right here between the bedrooms and in between the bedrooms also is a, uh, a bathroom. The bedrooms look to be about the same size so I don't know which one, uh, ma which one would be a master bedroom or not. Curtains are still hanging in here. This place has a really homey feeling. I think that uh, I would not make this the master bedroom because it's right close to the living room area. And you'll see that here in, in a minute. Hardwood floor was... Hardwood floor is kind of what we were... Uh, what was in this house before. The roof is just kind of deteriorated and fallen apart. The uh, wood stove had been removed. There's carpet underneath the uh, where the chimney is. So I don't know if there was bricks there before. I'm sure you wouldn't just put a wood stove right on top of the carpet. Uh, and you're seeing, you'll see that here later too, the walk-in closet. Uh, as I took this video of the house, I was talking on the phone to a good friend. And so I had muted the audio and... I'm doing a voiceover using a uh, separate device, trying to syncopate the two digital recorders together. Um, I found out that the uh, one of the owners, or all of them, I guess, had made a decision to let somebody stay in this house for rent-free. They wouldn't have to pay any rent. 
uh, and that their obligation would be to fix it up a little bit. Perhaps they were vagrant. Perhaps they weren't, you know, going to have utilities. Uh, maybe they did have utilities turned on. There is a new meter outside. It's obvious that power does run to this house. Uh, I know that the pump for the well had been removed. I don't know if it was stolen. There's uh, medicine in the uh, medicine boxes, a toothbrush there, old bottle of, of water on the counter, and some toothpaste. And um, outside there's like a mother-in-law shack, literally a place, that, like a den outside that you could uh, fix up pretty nice. It's a carport area. Perhaps you could use it as a, a tool shed. It's like an open-faced garage. But <clears throat> all of this the stuff that's in this house makes me believe that it had been lived in not too long ago, although it looks like it's in bad repair, such as this bathtub here that's been literally destroyed. Pieces don't just fall off that, that pegboard material. That's been grabbed and ripped off of there like somebody was mad. Um, perhaps they punched it, it broke, they ripped a piece out of the way. Um, the majority of the copper had been removed, as I said. The uh, Owners were not very happy to find out that the place had been further destroyed because they probably had hopes of maybe getting this place livable at some point too. So, what I told my uh, what I told Jane when I talked to her is that I was interested in not not staying somewhere rent free, uh, even to repair the place. I told her that I would clean this house up and get all of the trash out of it for uh, for free. That 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 would be on me. And that I would pay a, utility, a deposit, of course, and I would also pay uh, rent in the sum of $365 a month. And that I would be responsible for any and all repairs that needed to be made. Essentially, I would not be renting the house. I would actually be renting the property. And I would clean up the house because it's here. Um, I certainly couldn't afford to put new windows in it. But I could, um, you know, slowly but surely make some repairs to the place, get it cleaned up so that it could be repaired, get that carpet out of there, and then maybe board up the windows and then start looking at what needs to be done to fix it and make it nice. Because if that's the case, and I did make it livable, maybe they would give me uh, you know, a, a deal like, hey, you can now continue to rent the place for 365 a month, and I'd have my trailer there still, and then I could live in the house for 365 a month, which is better than what they're getting right now with it just sitting there getting destroyed. They didn't seem too excited about this. I'm sure you can understand that they, they're not really wanting someone else to live here and then burn the place down or, you know, start a meth lab in the back room or whatever. So <clears throat> the conversation went well. It was pleasant. Uh, I enjoyed talking to Jane. I, I know she was skeptical. But anyway, as I walked through the house, I just, it would have been too hard to take millions of pictures. So I opted instead to take video. And uh, moved as slowly as possible through the places I explored it. Um, the room that we're in right now is the curtains, uh, back window. This looks out towards the freeway, as you've already seen in this, this video. It looks out towards the freeway. There's a lot of freeway noise here. That doesn't bother me. In fact, these types of houses are exactly what I'm after. Um, I would like to live somewhere where where I could, you know, fix the place up. This is obviously a home that nobody else wants right now. Uh, the song that was originally recorded by Stuart comes to mind. This old house once knew my children. This old house once knew my life. Or my wife, perhaps it says. Anyway, um, this is an old house. It's run down. may not be worth fixing up. It's got a solid foundation. Hardwood floor sits on solid concrete. There's no termites or bugs that I could see. Uh, most of it's water damage that's blown in when it's rained or has leaked through the roof, although the roof doesn't look like it's in that bad of repair. There is an attic, though, as I walked through the house, uh, and I did look, not for an attic release, but I, I did look for, um, I did look at the ceiling, and I don't remember seeing any access to the attic, so it may be on the outside. I didn't get to walk around the house as I was asked to leave. Anyway, this concludes the video. Thank you for taking the time to watch.